Okay, my name is Rebecca Onkin, and I'm a junior at Westside High School. Okay, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'd like to issue a trigger warning for mentions of self-harm. The title of my poem is How I Learned About Dying. The first time I thought about dying and broke down all the things I thought I would meet as I closed my eyes and turned into bone dust, I was 11 years old and in so much pain. I wished that it would go away, the wrenching in my gut that made me see stars and writhe around like there was a fire emanating from my heart. And in that moment when I was blooming with starlight from all the cosmos trapped inside of me, I wondered how it would feel for all of it to stop. The next morning, when I saw blood on the sheets and was rushed away to the hospital and told that if I was born in another century, I would have been dead in months, all I could think about was how that much blood could come out of someone who didn't die. The next time I think about it, I am 12 and a half years old and my first panic attack drives away the breath in my lungs down to my feet that turn into lead. I lie on the bathroom floor thinking, chasing away the beasts in my head by running them around in circles. I don't remember the fight my parents were having anymore, maybe about money, maybe about my younger brother. None of it matters anymore. Only how I thought it would feel to float in a deep blue ocean where no gnarled and black and ghostly beasts could find me. I think about it too much after that more times than they tell me is healthy. At 13, I write my first piece of poetry about how nice it would be to dissolve into nothingness. I write about how tired I am, about how I want to let go. I write about how I don't think it's going to get better. At 14, I puke into a toilet the day before freshman year because I am so scared. And I don't know how to live in high school where all the teen movie legends tell us that bullies reign and geeks are losers and prom queens are queen bees that like to sting. I think about how it would feel to make it all just go away. At 15, I study how metal looks when it's placed on skin. I am nerves and anger and fear right before finals week, and I want so desperately to let all of my feelings go, to watch them be burned out of me with the same starlight that was burst from my heart. I hold a knife to my wrist for the first time. I think about all the poetry I wrote when I was 13. My heart stutters to a stop, and I watch the world move in slow motion as I put the knife down. I tell no one. At 16, I tell someone with a quiet half whisper. I think about knives and blood and anger and pain, pain too much and one day everything goes bad and I feel my chest expanding to fit in the whole world. Everyone is muffled but my heartbeat is loud and fast and clear. At 16, they tell me that I am wrong that something inside me is broken, that the way I hanker for blood written with starlight like a drug addict isn't normal. They tell me that I am not alone, that I am not the first, that I am not the last. At 16, I still think about my deep blue ocean and how pretty metal can be when the light hits it just right. I still have beasts that are gnarled and ghostly and black, but I am also still here.